we'll go ahead and select this first one, first zero frame for the uh, body bone. And once we do that, the bone properties window populates. And it shows you up here the animation is stand, the bone is body, frame is zero. It's a transform only, there's no image attached, no colliders, no position, no rotation. Over here in the animation window, we see some gizmos for moving. It's the position, the rotation, it's the circle. The box is for moving X and Y at the same time. And over here you have, again, the body and frame zero. And you have position and rotation. This window, you can move just like on the texture pivot window. You can move with the middle mouse button, clicking and dragging, or the control button and left button or the command button if you're using a Mac and left button. You can zoom with the wheel. It's not much to see it right now, just the gizmos. You can also zoom up here. Up at the top you have animation windows. When we have an animation we can move our frame one at a time back. We can play the animation, it just previews it. You can move a frame forward. You can center back to the origin if we've moved our thing around. We can zoom at scale one if we've zoomed in and out. We can choose our settings and we can update our mesh. We'll get to these functions in a minute. Let's start by creating our Nike. So to begin, for the body frame zero, one way we can do this, this is a slower way, but I'll show you this way first. So to change the type of the frame to image, and once we do that, it brings up an atlas, just like with the sprite, sprite selector and a pivot selector. So let's click on this. And this is the knight's body, so it's going to be from the knight atlas. And if we select this, this shows all the images in our atlas. For the body, we want this one. It highlights it purple. Now you see once we've selected that, it shows up in the animation window. If we wanted to, we could move it around. We can move just on the Y axis, just on the X axis. Or if we click the square, we can move them both. If you want to rotate, you click on the ring. If you want to scale on the Y, you want to scale on the X, you want to scale uniformly. Now the depth is something we'll get into in a bit. Since this is a 2D animation, you want to change the draw order of all your elements or else it'll look jumbled. So the depth can come in handy by telling you your, uh, your mesh how to order your textures. Let's go ahead and reset this back to what it was. So you can see everything that I did over here in the editor, I can also change in the properties, which makes it really convenient. So that's how we set one image. Now this could be tedious if you had a lot of bones. So a fast way to get around that is to click and shift and click. That selects a range. Or you can click, and drag, and release. And that selects a range. You can see the lighter colors are selected ones. Uh, orange, by the way, is a keyframe that's been set. And gray is not set. So these are all, since you have to have a zero keyframe, these are all set keyframes, they're just empty. So we go ahead and select this range and right click. And then you can set atlases. We want to change the keyframe type to image. Change the atlas to night. And then update. So now each of these has that property set. So we don't have to do it one at a time. Now the weapon is actually in the, in the weapons atlas, not the night. So we want to change that. We can do that just one at a time. Okay, so now we've set our atlases. Let's go back and start up here. Let's open our texture selector and our pivot window. Okay, I apologize, there's a jump there. My screencaster locked up the computer. Okay, so we're back. Um, okay, I was setting the images. So we set the pivot window. So now we have the body and we probably want to have pivot somewhere in the center of the, the body so that when he breathes it'll go in and out in the center of the body. So we have the next the head. Click on the head 
let's put the pivot somewhere near the base of his head around his neck so that when he rotates his head it'll be in a more natural position click on helmet select the helmet image and let's put the pivot somewhere around there as well left arm click on this now the arm we probably want to rotate around the socket so on the shoulder so we'll put it right there hand click on the image right in the center of the hand is pretty good weapon Now the weapons atlas shows different, it's not the knight, so it shows different the different weapons. We want to click on the sword. Let's go ahead and put the pivot somewhere around the handle. Right arm. And click on the shoulder. Let's get some more room here. Shield. Right in the center of the shield's good. Tunic. Around the pelvis. Left leg. Want to put it around where the it would connect to the hip. Right leg. Same thing here. When I restarted it, didn't save the atlas, so you can see the arm is a little distorted. So I'm going to go over here. Rebuild. Now my arm is good. Okay, let's close these windows. Now you can see everything is just a jumbled mess right now. So what we're going to do is separate it all out. Just click on everything and move it one at a time. Again, move is the center box. Okay, so now we have everything spread out a bit. Let's start with the legs. And this red line is the x-axis, so that's the ground. So I like to try to rest everything on the ground. Put the tunic on top of that. And then the body on top of that. And I'll select the head by clicking on the frame itself because it's going to be hard to select with that helmet in the way. So I just clicked on the frame. Notice the helmet moves with the head since it's a child. 